just going to do four examples here. But if you guys are looking at a problem here, you can see that I have um, now what we're identifying is reflections. So if you multiply by negative outside of a function, you're reflecting the x-axis. If you multiply by function, if you multiply by negative inside the function, you're reflecting by the y-axis. Okay. So um, here, what we again, you guys can look at this, and again, while you guys are learning this, there's nothing wrong with just saying what's the parent function x squared. What's the parent function cosine of x? What's the parent function x cubed log of x? And I think that's helpful to sometimes understand like where are you multiplying by outside or inside. So let's look at this problem. Am I multiplying the function outside or inside? Outside. outside. So therefore, it's a reflect. So if you multiply on the outside by the function, you're reflecting the x-axis. Then, is this one fun? Is there a we, what? Yeah, the x-axis. So you talk your way through it. That's perfect. So in this one, cosine, are we multiplying it inside or outside? Inside. inside. So therefore, it's y-axis. Here, are we reflecting? Are we multiplying by the inside or outside? Yes, you want to give it? W axis? Z? It's either X or Y. Which one? Yep, good job. And the last one, we're multiplying the outside, so therefore reflecting the X axis. Okay? So you guys are looking for the same thing. The only thing that's changing is the functions.